All right, let's roll into our race winner for today's uh, TechNet Auto Service 300 powered by CarQuest, NASCAR Nationwide Series race. Race winner is Kyle Busch. He drives the number 18 NOS Energy Drink Toyota. He's joined by crew chief Jason Ratcliffe and, and uh, president of Joe Gibbs Racing, J.D. Gibbs. For Kyle, this is his 35th NASCAR Nationwide Series win, his 71st National Series win, and his 50th win across all three series in a Toyota. He also wins his fourth straight National Series points event dating back to Dover. Kyle, uh, certainly a dominant show out there. Uh, your thoughts? Uh, well, it, was, it wasn't it was very dominant there in the beginning. You know, we started out really, really tight and just felt like I was over pushing the right front tire and, and uh, you know, wasn't sure what I was feeling over the seams and running high and stuff. It kind of felt soft and down the front straightaway a couple of times it felt weird. So I just wanted to be on the safe side and bring it down. And uh, fortunately, there was nothing wrong with it. But, um, you know, we... We then got a speeding penalty for exiting too fast because I was paying attention to the cars going by, trying to figure out where I was going to fall in line instead of watching my pit road speed. So my fault there. But, um, you know, the guys battled back hard, and Jason made some good race calls to get the car handling a lot better. And so uh, real proud of the NOS Energy Drink team. They did a great job on pit road. Uh, we came in fourth or fifth one time and came out with the lead. So that was a pivotal stop there and I think led the rest of the way. So, um, you know, got to thank those guys and what they did. And, uh, and giving us a good, a good race car. Thank you, Kyle. Crew Chief Jason Ratcliffe, as Kyle mentioned, uh, had that penalty. I think you were a couple laps down there at the outset of the race. How did you get back on top? Well, we were uh, actually about two and a half behind the leader at that time. And, you know, the flags went our way. Um, it stayed green, so all those guys had to pit under green, um, which got us one lap back. And then, you know, Kyle was coming up through there really fast and the in the 15 lap newer tires that we had we were able to make up a lot of track position so thankfully we were right on the tail end of the lead lap when it all cycled out and uh kyle did a great job there finding some speed searching around and um staying on the lead lap so from that point you know it was just a matter of uh getting our car handling a lot better um and then you know to to put the exclamation point on it i think the pit crew you know coming in fourth and and, and putting us out front give us an opportunity to win the race so uh and, and some more drama that you know i haven't even told kyle was we were really really close on gas there because uh, it didn't take all the fuel on the last stop the stop was so good that we didn't get it full uh, so we were good to about lap 201 uh, if it went green it was going to be really close we were going to have to get as good a fuel mileage as we had been getting all day um, and then with the with all the green white checkers it was uh, it was pushing it thank you jason jd gibbs uh just talk about the performance today, the 18 team, uh, and how well they've been doing here this month in May. No, it's just it's been fun to watch them. And today for the NOS guys, it, it meant a lot to them. They got to come to the race today, and I think Jason and Kyle just create ways to make stuff more interesting. <laughs> I'm like we, we just just let's don't do it. Just let's just finish. We'll finish. With it. But they did a great job today, kind of uh, taking some a negative uh, situation, worked on it, didn't panic, and, and came back and won the deal. Questions now for this team. Uh, I think Mike has one here. Megan. Mike Hembry, SpeedTV.com. Kyle, is it too late to try to get a flight to Nashville next week? Uh, any reconsideration of that decision at all? Don't ask me that question. Kill me. I, I just work here. I just work here. Uh, well, I mean, I I thought we had a great year last year and winning the championship, setting a lot of records and doing what we did then and uh, knew that we could do the same thing with Jason coming back and uh, and all the guys staying the same. So I felt like we had a really good race team and, and there's no question we couldn't do it again. So, um, you know, I'd like to do it, but uh, there's, you know, it's time to, you got to win a, a cup championship, I think. Uh, well, I know. And, um, you know, for us, I feel like we're in the best position we can be this year and how JGR has been running lately. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. So, uh, I'm, f I'm real excited about the summer months, and um, and I'm going to miss Jason and the guys running the nationwide car, but uh, yet, you know, pretty pumped about Dave and what we can have, uh, hopefully have some good runs in a cup car to get up there and lead the points and uh, maybe get some more wins so we have some more bonus points going into the chase. Ryan Wood, Charlotte Ob uh, Observer. Kyle, a win always feels good, obviously, but considering the adversity you had last week, how close you got to winning last week, 
How much better does this win feel uh, after that? Uh, any win feels good, but it uh, doesn't matter when it is. You know, um, last week's last week. That's in the past. We're concentrating on tomorrow now uh, and what we can do to try to win this Coca-Cola 600. You know, today's race was, was today. That's what I was, uh, you know, focusing on early this morning was, you know, what, what I could get my cup car doing to try to handle better for tomorrow and then how to win this race here and uh, work through the, through the adversity and some of the things uh, today to, to get a win. And hopefully now we can try to do uh, – Make it a little easier on JD anyway and uh, try to win for one tomorrow.